what's going on YouTube so I wanted to just go ahead and throw out uh, you know since I did my last video I talked to my dad in the process of making that one and uh, he went ahead and sent me the uh, two meter radio that um, I grew up knowing um, so we're going to go ahead and just open this box for the uh, way of doing proper um, unboxing. At least I do it more more so for the point of insurance and verification and purchase online for something. So it's always nice, at least I think so, to be able to have that. Um, so we go ahead and get the baggie. So we're going to go ahead and someone already probably knows what this is. This is the um, Kenwood that my dad had, um, and this is the one he uh, he used to do a ton of HF. And um, now he doesn't do so much. Uh, he lives in an apartment complex. But in the early 80s, uh, he had the um, big desktop station because that's what the radios were at the time receive and transmit. So now he has, uh, you know. Radios like the uh, the 7300 here, which are very small. I mean, this, I mean, and you had to switch between uh, transmit and receive. Um, then he got the uh, two meter. He started getting into the two meter FM here. So uh, in the back here we have our antenna. We have our power. Um, kind of looks like an old mic jack, doesn't that? Uh, and then, of course, we have our external speaker. And this is an FM only unit. Um, see there, it's a Kenwood uh, 2 meter FM. It has the uh, keypad on the front of this here. Um, and we do have our microphone here. Um, this one is not like um, the video previous you saw of mine, the, uh, the ASU. This um, this is just an up down button here um, on the microphone, but yeah, this is the uh, TR7950. Um, this is my dad's uh, radio. He's like, hey, can you uh, go through this? I know that the uh, battery <laughs> uh, needs to be uh, changing it um, eventually. It's supposed to have a five year lifespan. As you can tell, my dad's not a smoker, but these have over time started to fade. And uh, you can see even the uh, the patina on the microphone uh, jack. Um, I actually just got off the phone with him, and he said that this unit still works and holds a memory. And the battery inside here... Um, We'll go over in just a second here. Let me go ahead and just let's see. Let's see what happens when, um, when I fire it up. So if uh, the two meter repeater that I know um, up in New York, which is uh, 146955, if that's in the memory here somewhere, you can actually see a little bit of uh, uh, weathering on the. Uh, Sorry about that. There we go. We got a little bit of weathering on the uh, on the buttons here. So we'll get that cleaned up too. He's complaining also about a uh, scratchy volume, which does make sense. This is an old unit. This was uh, 1984 or so that this came out, and then he purchased it probably around 84, 85 or so. Um, back when he was heavy into uh, HF DX everything was rolling back then in the early 80s um, 
So he got this no later than 86, I would say, just for an age reference. It would probably be probably more 85. Um, but it has the original battery inside um, here that's uh, microprocess controlled radios back in the day. Um, actually up till recently, even like the RCI 2950, which I will have in a video coming up because it has the same issue here. Um, which the uh, you know the RCI 2050 was even to the mid 90s to late 90s before they switched over they had a lithium battery backup for the uh, memory on this some units didn't come with any memory um, like the HR um, the range, uh, clear channel communications the HR uh, 3300 3500 those didn't come with memory so you had to have a constant 12 volts to it to be able to power the processor to keep the memory you stored in there um, so they alleviated that problem with putting in a coin cell battery and it's basically um, just for reference I was gonna put this in this is basically close is enough to be able to do what we need to do but uh, it's a, actually a CR uh, 2032 that's in here it's a 3 volt lithium has a 5 year lifespan I'll probably cut to that uh, in the video just real quick to show you in the manual that that has that I was going to put that in and either the 20 25 or actually get the 2032 it's just a little bit different of a uh, thickness on that um, and put actually a, uh, a removable part in here because the way these were done I believe is they actually had um, you know spot soldered the uh, the leads actually directly to the battery and it should be a uh, you know should be two leads uh, to the board um, for plus and minus one on top one on below and this be actually uh, in like a heat shrink of some sort um, that's what I've seen a lot of ones have been replaced over time with other ones but you need a 3 volt one um, don't use a double A uh, so what I decided to do is uh, you know just upgrade it completely um, is I'm gonna go ahead and put a uh, this one is a uh, let's see if we can zoom in will it take will it take will it take anyway this is an energizer lithium it's a uh, uh, CR2 battery this is a 3 volt and what we'll probably end up doing is just taking our um, this is the best stuff ever you do a lot of stuff everywhere uh, this is almost if not better than duct tape if you really want it to last and you have an option to do double side this stuff here 3m VHB this stuff here is um, amazing stuff here uh, this is uh, double sided so I'm gonna go ahead and use that and um, I've already somewhat sanded off the leads here uh, on either side here because we're gonna actually solder um, two pieces of wire to come off to go into where the pads on the um, board are and we're going to take this stick it to the side and be able to stick it to the chassis uh, here so we're going to go ahead and open this up here and I know um, after we power this on real quick you know that uh, whatever battery in is in here uh, if it still brings up frequencies which my dad said it does so we're gonna test that out so we're gonna go throw our 10 amp on and uh, yeah we're out here Jesus you have got to be kidding me ladies and gentlemen this thing still has frequencies still holding frequencies the real issue is this volume control of course it's been bashed around it's been used it's been mobile for a long time he had this on the uh, 
you know, it's a, it actually has a nice slide and slide off bracket, but I didn't program this up. Here we go. I'll just pull power. Here we go. Just to, just to prove it. This is the cord running to this radio. 1986 at the very latest that this radio has been um, with the same battery in it. You can see the age of this. We, we're not playing around here. This is the uh, this is the cord. We'll go ahead and just power it up just to prove that we have full discharge. So um, there we are. This is all aged up. Look at that. We're going to clean all that up. No reason why this would be going bad. I can feel a little drag in that. It needs to be oiled on the inside too, so we're going to get some TV tuner cleaner. But from 1986, we're just going to go ahead and prove. Um, there it is. The better uh, volume control has always been off. It's never been on. But we're just using this to discharge. Just want to show you again, we're holding the cord. We're doing everything in the book to make sure we're on top of things as far as people think it's fake. But you're seeing me plug this in. 146955. Holding frequency. Every. Every frequency that's been programmed in here. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. This is a TR7950 Kenwood 2 meter FM receiver. This is my dad's radio. My old man's radio right here. So he said to go ahead and get this all fixed up here, but uh, I can't wait to get inside this and see who the manufacturer of this battery is. From 1986, with a five year lifespan. This has been recorded on April 25th, 2021. I don't know what to say about that. Three volt, five year lithium batteries, never been changed. I can't wait to see what's inside this. So uh, coming up, we'll uh, get this video set up to uh, open this unit up and see how a five-year battery has lasted this long and it's been in a powered down condition for 10 years if not more than that probably 20 years he had this uh, sticking around he tried a couple times I think in the early 2000s powered up you know through the uh, adapter but ladies and gentlemen we're going through all the memories all the frequencies everything it's still the same as when he programmed it in 30 some years ago unbelievable has a little bit of wiggle on the knob I see that we'll go ahead and take care of that too this is glowing back but yeah we have full power here this is just an FM unit great tabletop that's a model number right there and there's the serial number so ladies and gentlemen you get anything close to the serial number are you on that same original battery <laughs> amazing absolutely amazing especially after being in storage it was not plugged into 12 volts for at least 20 years and probably five years before that um, just don't want to be plugged in when we move states but before that it kind of sat dormant um, not even plugged in at all so uh, yeah it's uh, something I can't believe to be quite honest with you so uh, yeah everything is here 
and uh, can't believe it. There's uh, where we got FM Simplex position 12, 13. Make sure the mic works. Gotta remember this. I don't have it hooked up to a dummy load or anything. You can see the dust on the connector. This thing hasn't been hooked up. In eons. It is collected. You can see the dust on this thing. My goodness, whoever made this battery is unbelievable. They're out of business probably because they never went bad. 2021. And a five year battery. 1985 86 at the very latest and uh, yeah everything's here so yeah we'll fix that travel and uh, clean it all up and do give it a good uh, brushed over so 73 is on this video for now we'll come back on the uh, next one amazing Enjoy the journey with me and uh, like, share, and subscribe, and uh, I'll be back uh, on the next video um, going over to this, doing a couple recaps, changing out that battery. We'll see. Kind of scared to mess with it, but uh, here it is, the uh, Kenwood TR7950. Uh, thank you so much, Eric Tech Stuff. See you in the next video. Uh, 73s for now. 73 rather. Um, working on that. Everyone says about 73s and 73. It's actually 73. Code 73. And uh, when people say 73s, people relate them to a uh, CB radio operator. We're going to go ahead and take care of this uh, this cable as well. I'm going to update and uh, get this up to speed. This is not a proper cable. Good enough is we can get to everything. This is like an old mic jack and uh, adapter. So we'll get this ready and set up for uh, for my old man on the uh, next video. Thank you. See you in the next one. Appreciate every each and every one of you, which I think is 60 subscribers. My goodness, I appreciate that. Uh, just doing this for fun and. Uh, Glad to get subscribers along the way, and uh, anything you want to see, go ahead and throw in the comments down below. Got some cool stuff coming up as well, and uh, we'll get back to this one in part two very, very soon. Thank you so much for your text us. 73s.